what's happening my people so it's your boy smooth back with another video this is invincible season one episode five man so this has been getting pretty interesting this invincible series so it's pretty much it reminds me of the boys like if anything like the boys the watchmen stuff like that is very gory very graphic so this is by the mind of Robert Kirkman from Walking Dead, Image Comic Books, etc., etc. If you've been watching these videos in this and that. But uh so we start off this episode, man, and it's a little parallel. So we see this big ass brother. I'm like, my first thoughts is like, look at this big fake ass Luke Cage. Like, uh look at look at this. Let me. Damn lights didn't want to turn off, man. My lights are Shit, ain't anybody trying to kill my battery up in here? I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just... But anyways, so they got this big ass Luke Cage man. He going in there, whipping ass. The only difference, wh why I say Luke Cage is because he's a big black dude, big black muscular dude. But his powers are exactly the same, except Luke Cage doesn't have to turn into rock. Like homeboy turns into like literal rock. Like Luke Cage is just like man of steel, pretty much. Like, or maybe you could think of the thing. Like, he is kind of the, the thing's powers, but I think he a great value, Luke Cage, if you want to, you want to ask me. So, we see him going across the city. He's doing like, it's a borderline. You like, is he committing crimes or is he saving people? He's doing bad things, like taking people down and killing them. And, but then he's, Going in people, people, uh, houses and burning their houses and stuff. But then he gives the people money and be like, uh, y'all can go here for the shelter or something. So he, you can see he has a little bit of good in him. And on the, uh, converse, we see Invincible, like he's, uh, across the city. He's dealing with his things. He's just kicking ass, taking names. But he, he going through his stuff with Amber. Like he can't make time for it. He always late and stuff. So he dealing with that, uh, they go to school. He's, he's late at school. Why Principal Winslow actually looks like Carl Winslow? Like he look just like Carl Winslow. Like this brother, that shit look that shit look funny as hell. But uh, so we keep he keeps standing Amber up. Something we notice on this episode, man, the mama is putting it together, man. She knows. She knows that Omni Man is guilty. She she just needs to find proof. And the demon made an impression on her. Like she knows it. Like something ain't right. He killed these people. He was the only person that was capable of doing it. He did it. And she ends up looking around. She finds his suit from that night. She was when he left the hospital. He was adamant about getting it from from a. Uh, the people. It got everybody DNA on it. Like, evidently, like, there's blood and stuff all over. If they had DNA evidence, you could see all the people. He killed them. But anyways, so, Titan, we, we see he's having problems with Machine Man and stuff. He's not necessarily, like, a bad guy. He's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place, man. He, uh, Machine Man has not dirt on him. But he knows his family and stuff, and if he doesn't do what Machine Man wants, like he's gonna harm his family, etc. So he has, he's kind of stuck underneath this thumb. So he asked, asked uh, Invincible to help him. So he, Invincible is first like, I did not stop you from robbing a bank or something. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna help you. Like, you and your Arby Tower, you and, you could tell you a suburban rich kid, like, uh, you come to the slums and see what's really going on. You really want to make an impact and help your community and stuff. So he actually brings him around the city and he shows what machine man, how the inner workings of his organization uh, is working. And he like, okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. They keep showing the twins. Like, you remember the twins at the beginning, like from the first episode, like them big, big ass, burly ass dudes. Like they're clones or whatever. He makes a clone. Uh, I'm like, why they keep showing these dudes? I'm like, they not that powerful and stuff like that. So I'm like, eh. But 
it seems they're going to play a different role. It's not going to be there of uh, them being villains or uh, strong in a fight or whatever. They know know how to clone in this net. So the, the robot from that fake ass Justice League goes to him. He's like, I need your help as far as your cloning technology and stuff. Because he had took a blood sample from the homeboy that throws the bombs last episode. He working on something, man. Maybe he's going to clone the group and take out their human, the things that make them human, and be able to control them the way that he wants. And then maybe it's going to bubble out to some villainous shit. So, they do go to, uh, they devise a plan, they go to Machine Man, and it was kind of weird, because they, they throw, they throw Titan through the window, and then they, they go in front of his face, and Machine Man is real calm, I knew that new guy, ain't going on, and he, he talks like T-Pain, he got like a little auto-tune effect, uh, but he's like, uh, I knew your guys weren't going to come, <laughs> and, uh, I'm like, Okay, they waiting on his monologue, his villainous monologue and stuff. Snatch him and go bring him to jail. Like, but in between the talking and stuff, he gets a, a sinister six of villains, like a bunch of villains teleport. I'm like, Invincible, he's pretty strong. Like, uh, I think he still could handle this group or whatever. And he got Titan with him. It doesn't really work out like that. Like, they, they have a few of them that they got have, like, a fake electro. They have, like, a, a a fake human torch, but he's, like, uh, throwing lava instead of flames. Uh, who the other one? They have a fake, uh, they have a fake Mr. Fantastic, because he's throwing, he's using, like, a, or, or maybe more of a fake Dr. Octopus. But it's a bunch of fake <laughs> characters, man. So, he's fighting with them, but they have this lion dude. So... This dude right here, he seems like he's going to be the truth. Crazy thing about it is Omni-Man is chilling. He's he's watching his son. Like he's he's hovering above the building and he's looking. His son is going to start getting their ass kicked. Then the fake Justice League comes out. So they fighting like everybody is battling and stuff. It looks like the tides might turn. Nope, 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 nope. Man, this lion dude, this dude with this lion head. Like, he reminds me of, like, uh, Thundercats or something. But anyways, so this dude, he busting the ass. He pretty much, I'm looking, I'm like, damn. He look like he kills, uh, Monster Girl. Like, he kills Monster Girl. Uh, Invincible. Like, he look like he kills Invincible. Like, Invincible is down, and he hits him in the chest, and look like everything explodes. Then they have, uh, Black Samson runs up on him. And Black Samson, they always mess with him about, uh, you ain't even got no powers, man. You ain't got no powers. You lost your powers or whatever. So, he gets so up. Like, he grabs his, his homeboy, try to run up on it, punch him. And then he grabs his hand. <laughs> he pretty much kills him and stuff. It's not looking good. So, he bug up everybody. And eventually, I'm like, Omni-Man is going to swoop in and fight him and stuff. No, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Like, he... I think he wants his son to die. Because maybe he feels like his son is a threat to him and he wants to be the most powerful. I don't know. It's weird. It is so weird to me. But if eventually, uh, uh, the lion dude, like, he just, you not even, y'all not even a threat to me. This ain't even worth my time. So he kind of, like, teleports back. And since he leaves, they still have some of the Justice League, the fake Justice League left. So they kind of grab homeboy. And they grab Machine Man, and the CIA comes in, and so they grab him, and it's like, okay, now it's over. Like, Machine Man is done for. But the thing about that is, uh, okay, so Machine Man is done for. Titan was behind it the whole time, pretty much. Titan, in the head of, I forgot the homeboy name that was teleporting, they took over the organization. So they did that. He like, yo, you fend for yourself, homeboy. That's what he was telling Invincible. I hope you pull through, but oh well. So he took 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 control of the organization. Like now he's gonna be the the kingpin of the city. And 
crazy thing is like a lot of people have seemed like they died from this big justice league but homeboy has been devising this technology the robot so the robot will he clone the people and bring some of them back then they have the cia they are trying to resuscitate invincible and they're like their blood his blood it won't die there's something in their makeup that won't die and it's like the key is the blood so i think they're trying to they're going to try to study invincible's blood to see if there's a way to kill their cells so i think they're going to try kind of devise a, a fake cry kryptonite and they're going to be able to use that against omni-man by studying invincible so i think that's what's going to happen with that situation but uh it was a pretty interesting episode, man. And it looked like looked like uh, Invincible is going to be losing his girlfriend because he was late again, but he's looked like he's dying. His girl is, uh, the other girl, she was like, uh, I know dudes have done you wrong and dudes ain't shit. Invincible is not one of them. They, she said his name, uh, Grayson, he is not one of them. He loves you. Like, he's a good dude. And she takes off because she knows that something is up. Like, is it? She knows the secret identity and what happened probably, but she can't tell she can't tell Amber that. I think that's the name Amber. But uh, that's ZZ Beats too. That's ZZ Beats from uh, ATL and a couple few movies. Uh, Domino on uh, X Force and not X Force, Deadpool and this and that. Uh, but anyways, that was a pretty good episode, man. This was one of the best ones. One of the best ones. I want to see how Invincible didn't bounce back. I want to see if Homeboy going to be cloning them and what will he do with the cloning technology and did what kind of deal did he have to make with the clone brothers like it's some a lot of shady shit is going on on this series man and they had a few times I paused in the video and I look uncomfortable because there are people I'm like in the parking lot like people was walking by like looking at me like what the fuck is he doing <laughs> but uh yeah uh like comment subscribe go be the greatest and the most hated man I let you boy peace